Are you ready to get the latest and greatest from Apple? In this video I'm unboxing and setting up the Apple Watch Series 8 and exploring all the features and everything it has to offer. So whether you're a long time Apple Watch user or just curious about the new features, by the end of this video you'll be ready to take your new watch for a spin and make the most out of its all new exciting capabilities. First of all we have here a midnight aluminium case 45mm Apple Watch Series 8 GPS and cellular. Let's start with the unbox. You just go from the back here. All right, just like that. We broke the box a bit, but not a problem. That's, that's where the watch is, and that's where the bracelet is. Nice, let's start with the watch. And we have this easy to take off. There's one, there's two, and the Apple Watch. I like that it comes with some kind of cover on top with a paper cover and here we have some info and uh, yeah right just some info about the watch how to set it up nice and easy then we have the magnetic charger the cable and everything all right and so you just push it out right that's the watch it feels weird like without the bracelet it's just a small piece of tech now let's go to the bracelet. Bracelet. Full packaging. So it looks like we have a longer for one side and a shorter one. More longer and shorter hands. And you take it out like this. Easy. I think I'll take the longer one. Okay. All right, so it's really easy to attach it because it doesn't go the other way around. All right. So as you can see, I try to put it the other way around. It slides but it doesn't sit there just like that and it sits there now let's turn it on so it's really easy you just put it closer and then continue and your phone will start connecting with the watch so as you can see it goes straight into the setup setup for myself you pair them and then you set up the apple watch left connecting 45 millimeter aluminium case this takes a while and here we are. I agree. Sign it into your account. It's really easy to set this up. Okay, now we can create a passcode. All right. Continue, continue, continue. Not now. Okay, so we have this until everything is done on the watch. Because the watch is syncing. It's finished syncing. Right. Of course, you get the passcode if you want to use it because it's locked. So back to the phone, that's everything we have on the watch. So it actually checks what apps are available on your phone and can send to your watch. It already like installs all the apps that you have on your phone. Pretty neat. You don't really have to do too much. Here are some settings, notifications. I'll change my watch, Apple watch for a second now. That's what you see first. And then from down to up, you get all your settings. So this is for when you go into water. This is your walkie talkie. Somebody can talk if you have this available, I believe. Then we have this cinema mode, Wi Fi. You also have this a plan if you want to add a SIM, an e SIM, because this supports e SIM, of course. Then find your phone. Here you can see the battery as well. Now on the left, nothing, I guess. Maybe from up, yeah. You can see the messages here. Press the crown, all the apps, and of course, see all the apps that are installed on your phone. So you press once on the ring to go back. And back to this, really cool. You can use this, really nice. Okay, now I need to see some function so let's see heart rate actually i need to put it on my wrist you just find the best fit for your hand that's it blood that's the blood up interesting okay so that's the oxygen that's the vital tracking uh, what we have here medications that's some of my apps let's check this okay i need to open the health up yeah that's the one date of birth okay continue okay let's go hold your finger on the ground minus written we've done this as well 
Awesome features. So we have a sinus written. Sleep, hand washing, interesting stuff. Medication, health check. And we have some apps here that might help us. Let's see what's this. Find your devices. You can find your devices from your watch. Find your location. Find people. Memoji. So if you have an app on your watch, you can go straight, connect with your phone. And if you're connected, it's just, you can just start listening to them. But of course, you'll need an audio device, like some headphones. Messenger, what else? Light standard, this is one of my apps. Okay, you go straight to your camera. Yeah, so basically there's like a lot of apps here. Probably it's easier if I take the watch. As you can see, it has a feature where if this is on your wrist, it won't require a passcode, but if you take it off, it will require a passcode. It's really neat. I can't do this to my current watch, which is Huawei GT2 Pro. I would love for some features like this. So we have your account first and notifications, general settings, focus, airplane, mobile data, where you can add a SIM, Wi-Fi, I'm already connected because of the phone. Display, always on, wake on wrist, wake on crown, everything here. App view, theory, sounds and haptics, passcode, battery. We also have battery health on this, really cool. We also have low power mode and app store. Blood oxygen, when to measure them. Calculator, clock, cycle tracking, and uh, that's for a woman of course. Tracks your cycle, hand washing, timer health and then we have heart as well mindfulness music noise sleep and workout a lot of settings here okay let's go to list view here you can also see what each app icon is workout finally and here we have a lot of workouts and you can add more badminton i just played badminton that's why it's interesting that i see it first and we have quite a lot you have here everything you need now that we've got some first impressions for some of the features let's talk a bit about it so it comes with a silicon strap that's available in various colors and various sizes as well as you saw you can also choose between 41 and 45 millimeters and also between aluminium and steel cases and there's also a 4g version which requires an eSIM and of course that's the more expensive one and you can add an eSIM on this one as well so it has gps bluetooth and wi-fi built in and the colored OLED that is always on by default when you have it on the wrist because now it's turning off. So usually when you have it on your wrist, it stays on. You don't need the passcode. So it does need to be paired with an iPhone that has iOS 15 or later. And of course, it does not work with the Android. It has a resolution of 484 by 396 pixels, which is very high for a watch this size. It has plenty of features as you saw before. And some of them are like water resistant up to 50 meters depth so you can swim without problems it has a scratch resistant glass and also a GPS tracking so if you want you can leave your phone at home it has pulse oximeter for measuring the oxygen in your blood also ECG electrocardiogram for like measuring the rhythm of your heart an altimeter to track your elevation and with that you have fall detection as well it does have a wide range of smart features which I do like some of them being like from messenger you get messages you can reply you can look at pictures really nice and it's a great all-rounder for fitness enthusiasts since it can track a huge amount of different activities the new feature can detect a car crash so if you've been in a car crash and you don't respond in around 20 seconds it'll call emergency services and it has a skin temperature sensor which is great for tracking your menstrual cycle and uh, better detect when you're ovulating and also for men it's great for overall well-being but I'm not exactly sure how. I don't see any like features for that, but probably it like detects some stuff for, from your skin temperature and adds to your health. Mostly this feature is best for tracking the menstrual cycle. Now comparing it to my Huawei GT2 Pro, at first it did feel like more comfortable when I put it on and it's easier to strap in, a bit easier. So it's, you see it's really easy to take out and then and I put it on really easy to put it on and take it out compared to my GT2 Pro also even though the battery is better than the series 7 compared to my GT2 Pro that lasts about a week total and uh, this lasts for a couple of days two days which is decent I did use it for a couple of days so the battery seems decent but not as good as the GT2 Pro what I do like about it compared to the GT2 Pro it's that it has better smart features and it's more responsive also there's one thing that I like about the GT2 Pro and 
and that's the look. So to me, the design of the Apple smartwatch feels a bit more unisex and the GT2 Pro feels a bit more like manly, at least in my point of view. I don't dislike it, but that's how I feel. That design feels a bit more manly compared to the Apple Watch one, but I do like all the features and everything that it has to offer, even though this watch, it is a bit pricey, especially compared to the other one. Check the Galaxy Watch for unboxing next if you're interested in smartwatches and as always, see you on the next one.